Good afternoon guys, this is our uh, 1999 Cabo 31 Express, just going into the water, today is uh, May 23rd, 2019, so we just listed this boat for sale, we had a complete bottom job done to it, including the running gear, new zinks, and also the boat got completely uh, buffed and waxed, so it's ready for the new owner. We'll do a thorough walkthrough with it, video of the boat later on inside the cockpit and we'll also take the boat for a sea trial so you can see how it runs. Sorry about the wind noise, it's, it's pretty windy today so you can see the fly bridge, outrigger. Okay, on this part of the video I'll show you the outside of our uh, 99 Cabo 31 Express. We just put the boat in from the boat yard. It's got fresh bottom paint, sides, top sides, everything's been uh, buffed and waxed. So the gel coat shows real nice. And uh, I would say overall from the outside the boat looks like a way newer boat than a 1999. pair of uh, CAT 3116s, less than 1500 hours on the motors. I'll show you the engine room. Shortly we'll open up, the whole floor comes up. It's the upper station. Both of the helm stations have covers, so they're protected from the sun. It's a Garmin radar. We installed that in 2018 lower station also has a new Garmin display from 2018. We got all electronic controls installed 2018. Overall the boat received almost $80,000 worth of work just in 2018 alone. Cockpit upholstery, that's all new from 18. The enclosure panels starting to be at the end of their life. They're a little bit cloudy, not awful yet, but I would say within a year or so they could need replacing. It's also a top of the upper station. Right now you can see water coming out of the side. We have the air conditioning on so the cabin is nice and cool. We got over 90 degrees outside right now, so the AC really comes in handy. The boat has all the outriggers, also functional. The working lights for the uh, cockpit, they work. We put all new pumps in it for uh, paint wells and whatnot. So, let's go take a look inside next. Now we're in the uh, cockpit of our uh, 31 Cabo. See the uh, bait pull boxes and whatnot there. We had all the upholstery done, as I said previously, from the dock. That's all from 2018. It's a really nice shape. It's made with uh, really high quality marine vinyl, so it should last for a long time. Looking down here, there's your swim ladder. There. You can see this boat's been used for fishing. People have been cutting some fish there. Fairly nice and clean. A 
There you got the door on the outside. There's the hookup for uh, the swim ladder. There's rod holders, plenty of them all over. Down there we have our uh, 30 amp short bar hookup. It's currently on and we're running the air conditioning inside. Here you can climb up to the upper station. I'll go up there and show it to you in a little bit so you can see how it looks. We have a separate GPS for up there so I'll, uh, I'll hook it up as well so you can see it. Front seats. Also redone in 18. Got the sides up right now just to get some breeze here. There you can see how the uh, part of the enclosure looks like. And here's the dash. The dash actually got a lot of upgrades too. The Garmin is new. We put new ICOM uh, VHF. There's a separate uh, microphone control for the upper station. All the other gauges except the RPM gauges got replaced with brand new VDO gauges. They all work. Maybe the biggest upgrade you can see here, that's the U-Flex. Uh, electronic engine controls so shifts and throttle used to be cables which was kind of sticky but it's all upgraded to uh, electronic the engines they work perfect I'll show you so can start them up port side uh, have half a tank of fuel that's still when we brought the boat back from the Bahamas. GPS. And I'll start up the uh, starboard side as well. Oil pressure is good. Charging. Engines are totally cold. So, uh, We'll do a sea trial part so you can see how this boat runs. And we also have a uh, Garmin autopilot. I personally brought it over from the Bahamas and I had the autopilot on all the time so it runs perfect. Get a little vent there for the uh, windshield. It's also power and it works. the view aft. We'll do a quick start up next standing from the dock so you can see the uh, exhaust from the outside. Next we'll show you the engine room, so it's all power hatch, hydraulic, so go ahead, lift it up. See the whole floor comes up. And there we have the pair of uh, 3116 Caterpillar diesels less than 1500 hours on them. We had both of the uh, shaft seals replaced last year, 2018. Uh, the shafts were also at the prop shop, just getting checked. Props got tuned, so boat's ready to go. Uh, in the middle there you can see uh, the fuel filters, Raycor system. We 
even put brand new AGM batteries. You can see the battery box there. So those are from 18 as well. This brand new uh, salt water wash down pump. On the port side, those are the electronic uh, control actuators controlling the uh, throttles and shifts. All right, that's our engine room part. Okay, next I'll show you the uh, cabin of our Cabo. So the entrance is right in the center of the uh, cockpit. Pulling in here. That's actually the electronics for the upper station. It's an uh, Garmin 4012 display and that's the uh, handheld for the icon. See, this forward section converts into a bead berth. The current owners have actually never slept in this boat. It's been just used for fishing and uh, storing fishing gear, rain gear, all sorts of stuff. So, as I showed you earlier, the outside of the boat is super clean. This cabin is more of a work area, so it could use some updating if somebody wants to really beef it up. There's a L-shaped L -shaped, uh, seating area. That's all vinyl. There's some stains here and there, but it's no rips or anything. Storage. There's the electrical panel. It's our 110, 12. And then there's the Westerbeek uh, generator controls. They're like 409 hours on the generator right now. There's the galley, the microwave that works. There's a cooktop that works as well. The refrigerator, unfortunately, the next owner will need to upgrade that. That does not work at the moment. And here, the last part is a separate saltwater head. And we have the holding tank in the uh, engine room. And there we can get back to the cockpit. And next I'll show you the upper uh, station. I'm not going to put the electronics up there, but they're functional and those are the two units that belong to the upper station. Okay, let's go up there next. This is the view from our upper control station. You see the forward deck, steering, it's very simple up here. There's the bracket for the GPS, we got uh, two RPM gauges and the controls. Down here, that's just the uh, connector for the VHF phone, so that's all you get up here. The idea up here is to uh, get a better view where the fish are, so let's do a quick round down there, back deck on the cockpit. back to the front deck. Next we'll do uh, a quick sea trial so you will see how this boat runs. Now we're on a sea trial with the uh, Cabo. Just heading southbound here on Lake Worth. You can see the uh, GPS navigation works. We got the radar on right now. We've got about nine feet of water. We're doing uh, about five knots. We're idling southbound, and uh, there's a sailboat coming. I'm just waiting for him to pass us, and then uh, we'll put the boat up on plane.
Got to be careful with this boat. It throws quite a way. So we got 1,000 RPMs and we got the electronic sync on, so it should automatically match both of the engine RPMs. Okay, let's see what it does.